Joe Manganiello as Deathstroke is perfect casting. The first time we got to see the actor portray the character was in the 2017 Justice League film in a post credit scene that was reshot by Josh Whedon. The restored film later came this year and we got to see more of Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke. One scene in the Nightmare timeline, another scene the Rectified and the original Zack Snyder one with Lex Luthor. And many fans want to see more of this character played by Joe. Now for years, Joe Manganiello has had some ups and downs with the character. He was supposed to be in a Legion of Doom movie, Suicide Squad 2, the Batman with Ben Affleck. But right now, the future of the Snyderverse is uncertain. And especially Joe Manganiello's Deathstroke. Now he worked with Garrett Evans, the director of The Raid. Pretty good movie, pretty great director to make a standalone Deathstroke movie. Joe Manganiello worked on the script himself. He had an idea, an origin story, something that had never been done before. And this movie would have cost very little to make. Still hasn't been made official by Warner Bros. So hopefully we get to see that story in the future at some point. But Joe Manganiello was in attendance at Justice Con, the fan run event that had... So many stars present and he revealed so many interesting elements to Ben Affleck's Batman script and also some of the elements about Deathstroke that we would have got to see. Now Joe Manganiello, for me, I think he is brilliant. Um, what I like about Joe Manganiello is that he's passionate about the role. The way he talks about Deathstroke and the way that he wants to play the character and especially since it's going to be a cheap movie, a movie that would be cheaper than the Joker movie which made a billion and also another movie that Warner Brothers didn't really want and didn't really get behind. I just think it's a no-brainer. Especially as a HBO Max original. It's a perfect thing to make for HBO Max. But somehow, they don't want to do it right now. So hopefully we can change their mind. And hashtags like Deathstroke, HBO Max, trended. So that might show them that, look, fans want to see it. So hopefully we can see that. But in some of the interviews at Justice Con, he talked about Ben Affleck's Batman script. And what characters would end up dying. Now he didn't reveal exactly who would die. But this is a quote from Joe Manganiello himself. Some of the regular Batman characters that show up in the films. Were not going to make it true. It would have been a cleaning house in a lot of ways. That's interesting. So if Deathstroke was going to kill somebody close to Ben Affleck's Batman. Who would he kill? Who was he close to? Well Alfred. Of course. You know Commissioner Gordon. Is another one. And I don't know who else Ben Affleck was going to introduce in his movies or who else Zack Snyder was going to introduce. But we could have had a, a Catwoman. We could have had a Jason Todd, maybe. Uh, probably not, but it could have happened. A Batgirl could have been introduced. You know, Commissioner Gordon's daughter. So who exactly would have Joe Manganiello's character have killed off? I'm going to go with maybe Commissioner Gordon. Uh, that's the character. And Alfred's a big possibility as well. Because remember... The Ben Affleck Batman movie, I don't know if it was going to be a trilogy of movies, but remember Zack Snyder had a five story arc. So Ben Affleck wasn't going to play the character forever. So to kill off characters, to have actual stakes in the movie, would have been interesting. And to see an Alfred die off in a Batman movie is crazy. To see a Commissioner Gordon die is even more crazy. So I think that is is pretty awesome. Now I think Joe Manganiello also mentioned that Batgirl would have showed up in the Batman movie which would have been pretty cool and my prediction for a long time was that Anna Kendrick would become Batgirl that was my prediction for a long time because if you remember the movie that came out a few years ago The Accountant Ben Affleck was in it Commissioner Gordon himself J.K. Simmons in it and Anna Kendrick was in it I thought that was like a test screening to see the chemistry between that cast and see would it work for a Ben Affleck Batman movie so I think that Anna Kendrick could have been a big possibility as Batgirl but will probably might never know Ben Affleck's full vision. Now we also talked about why does Deathstroke hate Batman so much? And this is a quote from Joe Manganiello himself. The way it was written at the time, I read the script, was that Batman was blamed by Slade for the death of his son. Slade's son gets killed. There were some events that led back to Bruce, led back to Batman. That he had to hand in it. And that he was partially responsible for it. Slade blamed him. Word on the street was that Slade wanted to kill the Batman. That's why he was summoned to Lex Luthor's yacht. And given a key piece of information to help with that as well. So that Slade could potentially get rid of Batman. So Slade had a son. And the son died. 
unfortunately and whatever happened whatever circumstances that did happen in he blamed batman but he didn't know who batman was you know so lex Luthor, of course bringing the brainiac that he is he, he tried to get something back of course and he wants the Batman dead because of what happened in Batman v Superman. And he knows that Joe Manganiello wants the Batman dead. So he tells him, it's Bruce Wayne. Now go kill him for me. So uh, that's probably where it would have taken off in the Batman movie. Him finding out it was Bruce Wayne. And then realizing, well, who is Bruce Wayne close to? Is he close to Alfred? Of course, his butler. You know, his parent from all these years. After his parents died. No, I think Alfred probably would have died. So that's interesting. He blamed Batman for his son's death. So that would have been an interesting arc. Joe Manganiello also talked about a Deathstroke series on HBO Max, which I think is perfect. A movie or a series on HBO Max would do pretty well, I think. And it would be cheap. And I think there would be badass, choreographed action sequence in it. And by the way that Joe Manganiello has talked about Deathstroke in the past, Deathstroke is a warrior who is looking to die. But he won't kill himself, of course. He wants that final battle. And this is what he had to say about a series. Deathstroke Origin as a series on HBO Max. Absolutely. I think it'd be such a fun series. And people would absolutely love it. And there's not a lot, lot like it out there right now. It would have its own tone and its own place within the universe. I think it would be very fun and tonally very unique. And the thing is, if Warner Brothers don't want more of the Snyderverse, okay. But you can have elements of Zack Snyder's world broadened. To a movie or a series. You know. Joe Mangiello Is only a small piece of the Snyderverse. So why not give it. A series or a movie on HBO Max. You don't even have to tie it in. You don't have to have Zack Snyder involved. It's just. It's cool to have a piece of that world. That Snyder created. And Joe Mangiello to return. In a series on HBO Max. Would be crazy. Because look at what. Disney Plus have. Look what Amazon have. You know. These companies. Have these huge IPs. And they're doing series with them. Mandalorian. WandaVision. Falcon and Winter Soldier, Invincible, The Boys, Netflix are coming along with Jupiter's Legacy. They have the Umbrella Academy. HBO Max don't have anything like that right now. You know, they have Green Lantern Corps coming and stuff like that. But not even, I don't even know if the scripts were written. How long before those shows come? Now, he also talked about an interesting thing. We all remember when Ben Affleck kind of online put the Deathstroke, Deathstroke scene. The one where he's kind of coming off a ship or something or a... He's coming off a helicopter or one of those kind of things. And he's just standing there. He's looking out. He's in the suit, of course. And that was from a, a screening test. And this is a very interesting piece that um, Joe Mangela had to say. Before Ben Affleck relinquished his Batman film to Matt Reeves and Robin Pattinson, the actor-director Cape Crusader film would have introduced Mangelo as Deathstroke in the main antagonist role. And even though Affleck's film was never realised, his method for how he introduced Mangelo's version of the villain to the DC fan base is a story all on its own. In a Justice Con interview with Joe Mangiello, this is what he had to say. I guess Ben pulled out his cell phone and filmed it off the monitors during my test. He was about to get on a plane, or he was on a plane, and he tweeted that out. He then shut his phone off and went on a transatlantic flight. No one could yell at him, no one could reach him, no one could stop him. He just leaked it out there. So that's pretty cool. And maybe that shows us as well... A lot of the behind the scenes shit that was going on at Warner Brothers at the time. You know, Snyder was going through a lot. I'm sure Ben Affleck as well wasn't too happy what was going on. Uh, you know, but Ben Affleck was trying to get his Batman film ready. And Joe Mangiello was going to be the villain in it. He was going to be Deathstroke in it. And he came in for a screen test in the costume and all that kind of stuff. And Ben takes out his phone. He records it. And he just puts it online. And he turns off his phone. He gets on a plane. So the Warner Brothers executives, his agents or anybody couldn't ring him up and say, Take that down quick. You're not supposed to release that. Get it, get it off the internet now. Or he didn't even ask anyone first. Can I can I put this out there? Is that okay? He just did it. So that's pretty badass from Ben Affleck. He got in a plane. Had a nice sleep for himself. <laughs> didn't worry about anything that was going on. The internet was exploding. So that's pretty cool. But that kind of shows me that they were going through a lot of shit. You know, he couldn't just leak it. He couldn't just put it out there. You know, he, he did it anyway. But he probably would have had to ask for permission. Which is, you know, a bit annoying. So uh, I'm, I'm sure Ben Affleck went through a tough time with his Batman film. Uh, very much like Snyder did with Justice League and Batman v Superman. Very much so, which led to Ben Affleck leaving, of course, the role as Batman. But I I, I thought all that stuff was kind of interesting from Joe Manganiello. And Justice Con was a lot of fun. And he revealed so many things about that. But guys, what is your thoughts and all the information we have here from Joe Manganiello about Batman? About the story? About his son? His origin story? About Ben Affleck leaking all that stuff? It's pretty cool. Give a like, comment, subscribe. Come follow me on all the social medias. Movies that matter. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Twitter, 
go give me a follow and talk to me anytime about movies guys that's the one thing we love to talk about but get in the comments let me know and i'll catch you in the next video guys thanks for watching and joe mangelo in a death stroke series would be one word two words one word bad ass